Robert Merton's strain theory of deviance outlines the five different adaptations an individual can have in society in reaction to strain. These adaptations are characterized by cultural goals and institutionalized means. Cultural goals refer to socially desired aspirations, for example, wealth. Institutionalized means refer to the legitimized legal means that are available to achieve the cultural goal, such as working a full-time job. The five adaptations are determined by the individual's acceptance or rejection of the goals and means. This video will be looking into these five reactions through five different Disney characters. A conformist refers to an individual who accepts both the cultural goals and the institutionalized means, and it is the only non-deviant reaction to strain. An example of a conformist would be Tiana from The Princess and the Frog. Tiana's goal is to own her own restaurant in New Orleans. As a conformist, Tiana aims to achieve this dream through legitimized means. She works as a waitress at two separate diners so she can save money to buy the building where she wants to open her restaurant. Even when she faces strain, the risk of losing the building to a higher bidder, Tiana continues to use legitimized means to achieve her goal by catering for her friend Charlotte's ball. An innovator accepts the cultural goals, but rejects the institutionalized means, such as the titular character from Moana. On the island Mochinui, Moana is the daughter of the chief. When she becomes the chief herself, the cultural goal for Moana would be to lead the people of Mochinui, which she must do by staying on the island, even when she wishes to travel beyond the reef. However, when Motunui starts decomposing, the only way to reverse the decay is to leave the island and return the stolen heart of Tefiti back to the goddess. Moana accepts the cultural goal of protecting her people, but to achieve this, the situation requires that she innovate through unconventional means. The next reaction to strain is ritualism, where one accepts the institutionalized means but rejects the cultural goals, meaning they repeat the same tasks every day, but have no interest in achieving the cultural goal. A Disney character that matches this description is the protagonist from Wreck-It Ralph, the designated villain of the arcade game Fix-It Felix, who is forced to endlessly be defeated by the hero of the game, Felix, and is treated like an outcast by the other characters. However, Ralph ends up being an innovator by leaving the game to get a medal, which he does to achieve the cultural goal, but he does it through illegitimate means by hijacking another arcade game. This shows that one's reaction to strain can change throughout their lifetime. A retreatist is someone who rejects both the cultural goals and the institutionalized means. An example of this is the prince from Beauty and the Beast. After being turned into a beast by an enchantress, the prince hides himself from the world and stops interacting with other people, therefore both rejecting any cultural goals or institutionalized means that were set in place for him by society. The last reaction to strain is rebellion, where one rejects both the cultural goals and the institutionalized means, but instead of retreating from society, they create their own goals and means. This reaction can be applied to Elsa from Frozen. As the queen, the cultural goal would be to successfully run her kingdom through the institutionalized means that have been set in place. But to do this, Elsa would have to hide and control her magic powers. Instead, Elsa runs away and creates a new goal, which is to live freely, which she does through her own means, by building an ice castle so that she may live isolated and unrestrained. Although Merton has been criticized, his strain theory of deviance is still influential and can clearly be seen in the world today.